Over half the world's 7,000 languages are facing extinction, particularly those of indigenous cultures. If these languages go extinct, their communities' cultural heritage and identity, including information about their lifestyles, belief systems, perspectives, and environments will be lost. UNESCO warns that the disappearance of indigenous languages would imply an irreplaceable loss of their cosmogony and thus of the common heritage of humanity. We need to preserve indigenous languages, but how can we do so? Linguist and computer scientist Dr. Stephen Bird has spent over 30 years learning, recording, and translating indigenous languages to preserve them. He believes that preserving indigenous languages not only shows respect to indigenous communities, but also connects us to the people around us in a new way that strengthens our communities, our lives. His goal is to record as many languages as possible and store them digitally so that people can connect with other communities via their language. To achieve this, Dr. Bird created the Ikuma Project, a mobile app that allows remote indigenous peoples to record and translate their stories phrase by phrase to create a collection of transcripts and translations from which others can learn their language. This system is called BOLD or Basic Oral Language Documentation. These oral documents can then be used to train AI systems to translate new recordings, texts, and dictionaries of indigenous languages. Since 2014, Aikuma has helped document languages in Nepal, Papua New Guinea, Brazil, and Australia, allowing young indigenous citizens to learn the language of their elders. In 2022, Dr. Bird won the Antonio Zimpoli Prize, recognizing his contribution to language resources and technology that preserve endangered languages. While the app provides a way for languages to be recorded and translated, many indigenous communities live in remote regions without access to mobile phones. This means that a team like Dr. Birds must travel to these communities to record their languages, which is costly. To continue this crucial work, we need to fund these teams and provide mobile phones to indigenous communities so they can continue to document their languages after the teams depart. To learn more about Aikuma and how you can help preserve endangered languages, why not visit their website, aikuma.org.